Breaking news coming in. This is now the latest developments in the Kerala non rape case uh, that are coming in. The victim's statements have been recorded once again. This is in light of the ongoing interrogation of the accused, Bishop Franco Mulakal. The police have sought uh, some clarification and recorded the non statement again. Remember, the non statement has already been recorded, uh, but uh, it, this is now being done once again in light of the interrogation of uh, Franco Mulakal. Let's go across to Shrija joining us. At this point, uh, Shrija, take us through the latest details. Third day of Franco Mulakal being quizzed and the police uh, now uh, questioning the nun once again. Well, absolutely. Now it's the day three of the questioning is what we have been told right now. Remember, another news that we are getting at this point in time is that the way the police uh, recorded once again the statements of uh, the victim nun at Kurivilankad convent. This is uh, between. Uh, this is in the morning between 9 and 9.30 a.m. is what we have been told. Now, now the reason here behind this is considering the fact that where uh, over the last two days where over 15 hours of interrogation has been going on right here at the crime branch at uh, Tripunitara itself we can see the kind of questions that have been asked to uh, Franco Mulakal the accused we also understand they re they wanted a clarification so clearly we see there was a clarification which was carried out which needed the re-recording or probably another statement which they wanted to record from the victim none to understand uh, these are the statements which were given by the accused Franco Mulakal so they did want to match with the, the kind of accusations which were leveled against the accused uh, Franco Mulakal remember that there was several allegations, one being where he had visited the convent. Uh, according to the accused, he told that he had visited only eight times, while the uh, victim did mention that he had visited about 13 times. So these are the various kind of contradictions, why, what we understand, which was recorded in this particular uh, interrogation room for which they wanted uh, cross verification, which was carried out as far as the victim is concerned. Now, this is the latest that we are picking up at this point in time. We also see the questioning and the cross verification is continuing uh, to take place right here at the crime branch we see that Franco Mulakal is still inside it's been over three hours now and we also hear from our top sources that he is likely to be arrested now remember this is something that we are getting to know considering the fact that yes there are several people who are waiting to question the Kerala police we are seeing uh, just since morning since 9 a.m. we have witnessed already uh, three protests right here uh, at uh, the crime branch so what you're seeing right behind me is the protest carried out by all India Youth Federation demanding the arrest of Franco Mulakal. Now that is one clarity which is still awaited from the Kerala police at this point in time. Now this is whether the Kerala police is going to going ahead or not is something that is still awaited. Remember even the SP when he spoke to the media, brief the media, he did point to the fact that once the cross verification is over, he will be taken into custody or not. That will be decided today. So which our top sources does of course tell us that he is likely to be taken under custody but remember, considering today is a holiday, a Moharam, there are high chances he can also be produced uh, right before a judge's house as well. And probably there are uh, talks about his, especially the sources also tell us how he is also planning to apply for a bail. This is for the arrest. Uh, remember, already anticipatory bail is also pending in the uh, Kerala High Court, which is just uh, yet to come up on 25th of this very month. Back to you. All right. Uh, thanks, Shrija, for getting us all those details. Uh